Hi, my name is Hal. I am the computer effects coordinator for Revenge of the Beast, an Alan Smithy film. I've known Alan Smithy a good part of my life, and about five years ago he came up with this idea called Revenge of the Beast. And uh, he, he's been inspirational in my life. It, it was nice to get back together with him after all these years. Oh, it was a blast. Um, uh, the crew was always together, and we had so much fun. We were like a family, and oh, it was just amazing. And everyone worked together so well. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I met, I met Alan Smithy about 10 years ago, and uh, he asked me to work on one of his films. So. I went ahead and, and did it, and it turned out to be a wonderful experience. But he's kind of an eccentric guy, and uh, some people love him and some people hate him. About 1976, we were at Berkeley College in uh, California at film school, and we worked on a project, THX 8311, also science fiction, uh, which Alan Smith is quite good at. I don't have a... Uh email address. I don't have a home address. I, uh, the only way to contact me is through the um, red phone and there's only one person that has that number and that's Charlie. And um, when Charlie called and asked me, Alan, uh, I want you to make this movie. As soon as I hear, I want you to make a movie, it, it's like adrenaline just flows through me. And I just want to just do it right then and there. But I have to go back and say, Alan. One, th one peculiar thing about Alan Smithy was when he would get into a rut, he would, um, he would take his guitar not too unlike the one I have here, and and he would just strum a few chords, as such, and he'd be just doing this on the set, which is absolutely bizarre because everybody'd be working around the gaffers, the, the lighting people, and such, um, the pyrotechnics, and he'd just be sitting here strumming odd chords. A real director films from his, from his heart, and uh, with Hal, I never had to worry about anything. It was always done, and it was beautiful. Also working with Bob Wonders, I mean, you know, Bob and I go back a long way each and every film. We go back 10 years. So between Bob and Hal and myself, there is a history, there's a chemistry that is like you would say in, um, of all the things, synchronized swimming. It is the most, remember, the uh, wildest thing we ever did there. I mean, um, I think the, Bi the Bible burning scene was pretty wild. Because um, we had all these Bibles and, and we were burning them in the, in the city center, but we forgot to tell the fire department. We went to the set to burn these Bibles, but we took a few of them first to see how well they would burn, and um, they don't burn quite well, as you would think. So, so um, our prop master came up with this grand idea of using our rain machine, but instead of using water, we would use petrol inside of it. Uh, so we, we had the books, we lit them on fire, and then uh, the prop master turned on the petrol machine, and then all the smoke started to appear. And um, it was more smoke than fire, so it was totally unusable, the shot. So, and uh, it caught the attention of the local fire department. We had this bucket of water, and it was, we, we, um, me and uh, the other actress, uh, Christy, like I mentioned before, um, we had the bucket of water, and we placed it right above um, Charlie's trailer. And right as he was coming out and he had just woke up, it was maybe 4 or 5 in the morning, and we, he opened up the door and it just, it, it all over him. It was, it was ice cold and he started screaming like a girl and we 